Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on what is the difference between the weld tool and the attach tool in Cricut Design Space. I myself was wondering what is really the difference between these two and I figured this would be a great video to show you guys. Both tools will ultimately allow your design to stay together or all in one place when you are ready to make your design, especially if your design involves words like a long quote. Let's first dive into what the attach tool is. So the attach tool is great for multi-layered designs. You can also use the attach tool for SVGs, other designs, etc. But it really isn't the best for writing and I will explain why in a little bit. The weld tool is great for words or quotes. I'm going to type out a word right now um, and I'll just use the word beautiful at the moment. And I will just move all of the words together so they flow very nicely. And then now let's try and group this design. As you can see, when you make it, all of the words are literally jumbled up. It's completely different. The group tool is just a good temporary tool if you wanted to create something else on the side. So right now we're going to go ahead and click the attach button. And if you zoom in a little bit, you can kind of see that each word is still by itself, although the word beautiful is together and when you make it it'll be together won't be jumbled like the group tool before but it still doesn't look all together the best thing to do here with words especially is to click the weld tool so let me zoom in on this and you can see and I'll do a before and after, but when you zoom in, you can see that every word is almost grouped together. So let's do a before and after. So that's the attach. And then this is the weld. Again, I'll do this is before with the attach, and then this is after with the weld. So you can really see a difference, especially when your Cricut cuts the vinyl. Um, it will look very different when you have an attached design, especially if you're using Oracle 651 permanent vinyl. The only negative thing about the weld tool is once you weld it and you click save, you cannot unweld. There are two tricks that I do when involving the weld tool. One, I will weld the design make my design and once the Cricut cuts the design I will look it over and make sure that's how I exactly want it and then I'll click save once I'm completely done with my project and then another trick I do is I also will make a duplicate of the design before welding as you can see here I just did that so you can just hide the other design so it doesn't cut too and that way you always have a backup before welding so attach is not really ideal for words, but here's what it is good for, which I mentioned before, a multi-layered design. So right now I got an SVG that I bought off of Etsy and it's a police badge, which has three different layers to it. So it has the badge itself, it has the blue line, and then it has a heart. So you have all three different layers right here. So I'm going to highlight it and then click group. So again, the group tool will cut each layer differently. So it'll show like, okay, white is the heart, black is the badge, and blue is the line. So that is one way you can do this. Um, you don't necessarily have to group or attach the word, but if you weld the design, you'll see that it combines the whole thing together. So you don't get the heart anymore. You don't get the blue line. If we attach it, it looks like it was all one layer, like the weld, but it's not. So I changed it into a blue color. And you can see that when you make it, it'll all cut it on one sheet and not on three different sheets. So this is really personal preference. It really depends on the design. It depends on what you're putting it on. I did make a police badge wine glass before and I just grouped it all because I just put each layer on top of the vinyl, but some people don't want to do that. So the attach tool is really great for just having one sheet and putting all of the layers on there. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped with clearing up the difference between the weld tool and the attach tool. So comment down below what videos you want me to make next. Please, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more Cricut related videos. Thanks guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.